Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my June Ipsy unboxing and try on. I'm going to be trying it on this time. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The theme is Do You for June 2021. The bag is really cute this month. Obviously it is for Pride Month, which I haven't done a makeup look yet and I'm quite surprised that I haven't done a look yet. Something does smell really good in here and I think it might be this product here. So this product is by Christoph Robin. This is the Daily Hair Cream with Sandalwood. So it helps with moisturizing split ends and it is anti-breakage. Let's see here, so it says apply daily a small amount on damp or dry hair insisting the ends and hairline. This stuff does smell really good though. I'm trying to figure out what the smell was in there. This kind of smells like Aquadigio. I will be putting all of the prices on the bottom here and I'll, I'll let you guys know the total value at the end, but this is the Sonage Glow to Go Glycolic Acid Peel Pads. This instantly renews skin for a burst of radiance. There are 30 pads in here. It also says to limit the sun exposure after using this because it is very harsh. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put on half of my Face. And then I have three more products here that I do want to test with you guys. I'm very excited for these, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so I have some of my face done. I have not gotten any of my powders on my face because we will be getting into two products that are pretty much eye products actually three products that will be eye products. The next product that we have here is by Fluid. It is the Otherworldly Palette. It's an eight shade eyeshadow palette. It says, We Are Fluid is a queer beauty brand created to celebrate underrepresented faces, empower self-expression, and champion gender expansive beauty. This one I actually picked out because I liked some of the colors in here. This palette is really pretty. Some of the colors though, the yellow and the orange and the brown, it's very repetitive. I could have gone with something Thing. like I don't know whether it be like a black or a pink or something like that I really love the green but this one right here I'm really eyeing and I'm probably gonna use I'm not quite sure these are really smooth okay I'm gonna swatch all of the glitter shimmer shades oh wow the first one's Galate that's really pretty we have Quarkle okay so it's one of those shades that it doesn't really like you have to pat it in to get the color that you want it looks pink but it's like a pinky purple with a little bit of blue spot in it. The last one is Andromedaze. That is pretty too. I really like the green. I picked it out because I thought it was really pretty. I love the color separately, but the colors together, it's going to be really hard to do a look together that's actually going to look really good. The first two shades I'm going to go in with is Stellatic and Blood Moon. They are both orangey colors. The first one actually reminds me a little bit of macaroni and cheese. So far, it's going on nice. I am giving the e.l.f. primer a second chance. The first video that I had used it in, it didn't, I mean, it did an okay job, but I just want to see if it was just the eyeshadows that I had used or if it was the actual primer because the primer is really dry going on. Okay, so now we're going to go in with Blood Moon. So the first shade was nice. It just, I had to like really go in with the colors. I don't know if it's because of my skin tone. I had to go in a few times, maybe three or four times to get the pigment that I wanted, even though it is just going to be a transition shade. It was all right. This one's Blood Moon. If you tap off the excess, if you don't tap it off and you just kind of pack it on and then blend it in, then that's when you're gonna get the pigment that you want. Okay, so I have a little bit of my eyes done and now I'm gonna go into my Avani palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Hidden. I was originally gonna go in with the red shade, but I will be using the glitter shade in here. Hopefully it does look good. I don't think I've ever done purple over orange. Putting this eyeshadow on, this eyeshadow palette Palette. Reminds me of the smell of, is it formaldehyde? I can't remember, but like I was in the wrong class. I was like in some nursing class and there were cadavers next to us and we could smell the cadavers with whatever that they used and that's what this smells like. Oh, well, this is bringing me back. Blech. Go in with Quarkle. Okay, so that's really fun. It actually goes really well with the eyeshadow. Next, we're going to go in with a Tarte Concealer. This is the Hydro Concealer, and this one is in 20B Light Beige. When I had 
seen that it said light beige. Typically light beige or like beige is pinky. It says that this is a medium coverage natural finish concealer that hydrates up to 12 hours. It helps with the appearance of pores and even skin tone, fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. And the caffeine helps reduce puffiness while smoothing, tightening, and brightening skin's appearance. This is a clean concealer. So it sounds like something that's going to be really promising. The color is probably going to be off, but we will see. I did get a little bit of sun, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, so the applicator is nice. I actually really like it. Obviously, I didn't have to go in with two layers, but I am going to go in another time. This does look very peachy, but it feels really smooth. I was not, like, I literally thought that this was going to be way too light for me when I had first seen it. Let's go ahead and try it out here. The color really isn't bad. That looks really good. Okay, I was not expecting that. Usually when I do go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, it's 27S or 29, and this one is, what, 20? So I don't know if these are different, but this one looks really good. I was not really expecting to like that very much, but I actually really enjoyed this, and the color's really nice. It blended out really well. Now we're going to get into the last product that we have here. This is by Gerard Cosmetics, formerly known as Whitening Lightning. I don't know if you guys remember that, but... I used to have a few lip glosses from them when they were popular back in the day. Anyway, so this is the Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Eyeliner. This has an ultra precise tip. It's waterproof. It has a deep black color and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just the liquid eyeliner that is supposed to be waterproof. This is a felt tip. Felt tip is very easy to work with for beginners, but personally for me, I do not like felt tips. I will still try though because it says that it is waterproof and I haven't really tried anything from Gerard Cosmetics in such a long time. So let's go ahead and try this. So initially going on, when you do do that first swipe, going over the glitter it didn't do a good job it actually it mixed with the glitter so the glitter was showing more than the eyeliner was but then i put down a second layer and instead of swiping it i patted it down and i'm assuming that if it does go over regular eyeshadows it'll be just fine but in this instant the glitter and the eyeliner are not doing very well on top of each other the black is really really dark though which is really nice i'm gonna do a tiny tiny wing i'm not gonna do a very big one <laughs> It's still mixing it with the glitter eyeshadow. I don't like it with this. I know that if I were to try this without the glitter over it, this would work really well. Okay, so we have the full face done. Now we're gonna get into the products very quickly. For the first product that I didn't go in with is the Christoph Robin hair cream. I've never really used a hair cream that you put on after that is on damp hair or dry hair, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'm not quite sure how much this is though. This is $43, so if it is $43, I hope that it works out really well because my shampoo and conditioner, alone just on like by itself isn't even that much and it's amazing so I'm hoping that this does work out really well. The Sonage glow to go Glycolic Acid Peel Pads. I'm really excited to see how this works out. Again, I did not try this because I already had my skincare on but these do look really promising. You know, at first I was really excited for this palette but I have to be honest with you, I'm not really hyped up about it. I had to go in several times to get the pigment that I wanted but like one too many if you know what I'm saying and and the color story just isn't really that fun to me. I thought it would be more fun in person, but I feel like what it's missing is a pink shade or something like that. I'd use another eyeshadow palette to add a little bit more color. If I'm gonna have an eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna want it for a multi-purpose type look. Like, I just wanna be able to create so many looks with it, and this is very limited when it comes to that, so I'm probably gonna give this away. The Tarte C Hydro Concealer. I was really surprised with this. I thought the color was gonna be too dark, but it worked out perfectly. It is very smooth and creamy. Love the applicator on this as well. So really, really loved this. The Gerard Cosmetics Eyeliner. This is definitely good for beginners. I will say that. However, this is not my favorite. I don't really use felt tips anymore because the tips never stay a tip. It always ends up getting really soft and round. So you have to like, there's like a certain technique that you have to use with 
with it or you have to go in with a brush and concealer to get that really nice flick that you want. So overall with everything that I did get, I was happy honestly with just this item here. Everything else, I have two products I have to try out that I'm really excited for and I will update you guys in the description box when I remember to because I usually tend to forget. The eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner, I didn't like. I mean, it's nice that we get to try out stuff though from Ipsy. I have to keep remembering that when it comes to subscription services that they try to do things based on your preferences and that you do try new stuff and that's exactly what I'm doing. You may like it and you may not. In this instance, I didn't like two items out of the five and it is what it is. I'll just give it away to someone who would want it. Now we're going to get into the total value of the box. So for the five products that I did get here in June's box, comes out to $133 even. I think that's a great value for five items that I have here. I only paid $25 for this box and yeah, I think we're good. All right guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there is anything that you guys want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. I do have two really exciting videos coming up pretty soon. I do have two new makeup launches that I'm super excited for. One I've been waiting for for so long and the other one is relates to where I had lived before and I'm really, really proud of her. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So. So be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, so that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I had no bloopers in that one.